Hello, Andrew Andrew. It's a gorgeous day in New York. We're right outside the Circle in the Square Theater about to see Soul Doctor. Which is the story of uh, Shlomo, I'm gonna butcher this name, Shlomo Karl Bach. And his unlikely friendship with one Nina Simone. Shlomo was a rabbi? Yes, he was a rock and roll rabbi. It's a new musical. Two hour, two and a half hours long. We also happen to probably be the youngest and also the only goyims in the <laughs> yeah, theater today. Be, yeah, that might be the case. Um, I don't know much about the Jewish faith, but I'm looking forward to learning more about oh, the. But you love, uh, you love a good Passover. I love a good Seder. At Soul Doctor, we'll see you at intermission. Oy vey. Oy vey. And it's intermission. This is an epic story. It starts off in Vienna, where uh, Shlomo's family is forced to flee Nazi Germany. They come to America. Shlomo pours himself into Torah studies, emerging uh, sort of like a, a rock star rabbi in his own right, loses his way and tries to find a way to reach out and, and rekindle the Jewish faith. It starts off with way too much explaining his, his, his youth and the background, and it kind of trogs along. But once he meets Nina Simone, there's a lot of parallels between their lives, between African American history and the Jewish history, and that's when it starts to get a bit more exciting. It's so uneven. It's it's either too light or too heavy-handed. The, the Gestapo officer in the very beginning of the show is comedic. He has a shiny swastika. Can they make the, could they have made the swastika any bigger? It would, yeah. Here's the thing. I mean, you know, he's trying to save lost souls. I feel like there's a lot of lost plot points. I didn't feel a genuine musical theater experience until the final number of the first act. To the older couple that comes in late, 35 minutes in, you sort of had the right idea. <laughs> Come in, interrupt the entire yeah. show 45 minutes in, and wait till the uh, Nina Simone gets on stage. Amber Mon is no Nina Simone, but she does bring a lot of uh, jazz to the set and the stage. The first act ends on a very positive note. I don't know where they're going to go. Usually there's always that cliffhanger. I'm excited to find out what happens to Shlomo in the second act of Soul Doctor at Circle in the Square. Eh. Uh, at the end of this first act, I had promise for this show. It really started to pick up uh, towards the end. Uh, unfortunately, for the second half, I was quite disappointed, especially towards the latter half, where it's sort of, um, I lost complete interest. They just sort of squander what, what they've got. You've got Nazi Germany. You've got... Nina um, Simone. You've got, you've got the civil rights movement. You've got Nina Simone. You've got... You've got Kate drug Ashbury. Use. You've got hippies. There is so much to be mined here for emotional and dramatic content. And what happens is 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 they don't. It's just sort of, it sort of meanders. Where did the plot go? I don't know because there were so many plots going on. I'm walking away with true interest in this gentleman, the real life story of, of what he actually did. In the show, however, the transformation from a conservative rabbi to a San Francisco hippie is too quick. You blink and all of a sudden he's wearing tie-dye and he has long hair. Everyone on stage is quite earnest. Fortunately, the mundane songs are broken up with some really gems of humor. There's some really funny lines in here. The, the core problem of the show is that it tries to cover far too much ground. Uh, it's an epic story and it really needs a larger cast. Just the numbers aren't up to the task of telling this story. Soul Doctor could really use a show doctor. Two red lights for Soul Doctor now at the Circle in the Square Theater.